When I'm designing a website, I like to know how does it look on a mobile and different size devices because if you just do it for a desktop and you've got a very big screen, you're going to release your website and someone's going to look at it on a small laptop screen or a, a, a tablet and there's so many different sizes of phones as well and they're going to say, hmm, it, it's too squashed to the borders of, of the screen now or the text and images, they're not aligned properly. You're going to go, well, it looks fine on the desktop and that's how I built it and I've got my SEO in and I've got my page insight score doing really well and they go, yeah, but look at the mobile and you go to mobile and you go, ouch, that looks rubbish. What is going on here? Quite simply, at the end of the day, it's because we haven't put enough time in to your responsive mode. Now, there's so many videos and tips and guides out there on how to do that and I've got videos on that as well, but a really, really cool app and this, I've got to give a shout out to David Miles, okay, from the Elemental Community Group. Well done, David, for pointing this app out to me. And it's brilliant. It's responsively.app, okay? I am not affiliated to this, okay? I'm, there's an, I'm not even going to put a link to this in my description, okay? Go and find it, responsively.app. Go over to it. And what you do is you just download it for your Windows or your Mac. And then when you look at your web address, it's going to show you lots of different screens. So let's just go ahead and do it. Let's download. Okay, yeah, we want to download for the Mac because I have a Mac. Okay, and it's going to download. And once that's installed, we'll open it up and just see how it looks. So we've got the Responsively app. Let me shut that down. Let me shut this screen down as well. There we go. Right. So now I've got my screen. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a search for a web page. And the page I'm going to put into here, just let it load up. Okay. I'm going to put into here my uh, test page that I've been working on. Uh, so it's the four hour video where we created this page. So staging free websquadron.co.uk. Okay, we're going to return that. And now we're going to see how does that look. So I can now see on an iPhone X, on a Pixel 2 phone, on an iPad, I can now see how it looks. And I can now clearly see that on the iPad over there, the menu icon um, just needs to be adjusted. So I need to make this into more of an inline because at the moment it's just not looking right. And here's where it, I mean, this is just where this becomes really, really versatile. This is an open source project. Yeah, dismiss, go away, be gone with you. And if we then scroll down, you're going to now start to see different sizes, generic laptop, what we've got over here, Moto G4, Surface Duo. Who has a Surface Duo? I don't know anyone who's got a Surface Duo. If you've got a Surface Duo and it's really, really cool and you love it, please let me know. I'd love to know how, 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 how's it working for people. The Galaxy Folder, we can now see there's a bit of stuff going on here. It's not working very well. And we can now see what the um, width is as well. 653. Now, when I come to design on uh, Elementor, let me just move this back up over here. I tend to work on a uh, 738 um, uh, pixel width. Um, not 738, sorry. Um, uh, th um, not 738, sorry. 378, sorry. <laughs> Got my numbers wrong. 378 I work on. This is showing me as a 375, which is weird really because on the internet it has 378 for the iPhone X. But anyway, so I tend to work with that in trying to understand how's the web page going to look. But what this does is this does get you to look at different views of a page. Now, you can also over here um, decide on whatever devices you want to show as well. So you can decide on the layout. I mean, FlexGrid, I think, works quite well rather than just having horizontal and whatever like that. But you can also customize it. So you can kind of say, OK, I now want to bring forward. Um, We've already got some of these. So what should we bring through? Here we go. Uh, let's go for a let's go for a Galaxy Note. OK, let's just add that in. So I'm going to drop it in over here. And that's the beauty as well. I mean, look, I can pick up the laptop because and stick that above the pixel too, like so. And then I can hit close. And I now have iPhone, the generic laptop. And if I just scroll further down the page, there we go. We've got the Galaxy Note 2. Sorry, I'm moving myself around left and right here. But there we've got the Galaxy uh, uh, Note 2 as well. So if you're one of those people that uses CSS, where you put at media, and then you put what is the size of the screen. So you say, if the screen is up to 300 pixels or 200 pixels in width or whatever, then set the sizing of the text or the layout to be like that. 
this can be really, really useful. So this is just one of those free apps, totally free, okay? I am not affiliated to this whatsoever, okay? You can go in and just start to view your website and, and your pages in a, in a slightly different way. Like, subscribe, and see you soon.